morning church and uh, welcome to our morning devotion i hope you all are doing good in the book of romans chapter 12 verse 12 the apostle paul says be joyful in hope patient in affliction faithful in prayer so thanks to apostle paul we have something to learn during this time of lockdown First of all we have to be joyful. We may ask question to us that how we can be joyful in difficult times like this. So Paul reminds us in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. It says rejoice in the Lord always and I will say it again rejoice. Why do we need to rejoice? Because in verse 5 it says the Lord is near. The apostle Paul practice the presence of god in his daily life also paul had personal encounter with jesus christ this is the reason paul was confident and he was telling us to be joyful to be always be joyful in any circumstances because our lord jesus is always with us also there is a promise from our lord jesus in matthew 28 verse 20 Jesus said and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age and so we must always be joyful because our god is with us if anyone is feeling that he or she is alone today and no one cares for you then please remember that god is with you and he is with you always in hebrews Chapter 13 verse 5 God said never will I leave you never will I forsake you what an assurance we have today that God is with us there is a beautiful old gospel song and the song name is because he lives i'm not going to sing that song but i will read the chorus of that song to you it goes like this because he lives all fear is gone because i know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives so our god is alive and is with us and we should always be joyful and the second point is that we have to be patient how are we going to be patient during this difficult time how is our patience with other people how is our patience with our own family members the news report shows that many are affected during this time because many have lost their jobs due to loss of their work they were doing because of financial problems because of misunderstandings and miscommunication happening so during this difficult time let us remember what apostle paul had said and that is to be patient we must wait patiently for this times to come to an end have patience in our government on how they manage the entire situation we need to be patient with our own family members and also be patient with other people in first corinthian chapter 13 verse 4 it says love is patient love is kind we must continue to apply this love and be patient the third point is that we must be faithful in prayer philippians chapter 4 verse 6 It says do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God Apostle Paul is telling us here do not worry because our Lord is always near to us and we have our confidence and faith in God because he is 
with us always so instead of worrying we need to pray and thank god for everything also thanking god is an expression of faith in him we thank god because we know that he is an answering god so as i close today i want to say is that we all need to be joyful in any circumstances and always be patient and be faithful in prayer amen